AI detectors work by recognising content that's been written by an AI. But what if there was an easy way to make ChatGPT write exactly like you, appearing human and passing AI checks? I spent time working on a set of easy to follow prompts that do exactly that, extracting the most accurate description of your writing style and applying that to ChatGPT's output. In this video, I'll show you the prompts, show you how I made them and give a demonstration of them in action. But before I get to the prompts, I just want to introduce you to this video's extremely well-fitting sponsor, Brilliant.org. Many of you have made comments that you're enjoying learning AI, and a lot of you are utilising ChatGPT for learning code. Well, that's why Brilliant is such a great fit. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, from programming to AI, data science, neural networks and more, with new lessons added monthly. As I've said before, AI isn't coming to take any job, but the new developers learning to use AI alongside their coding, they're the ones that are. It's honestly a better time than ever to start learning new skills, and I believe the best way to learn is by doing. Brilliant's courses are fully interactive and intuitive, meaning you can hit the ground running and go from the basics to more advanced lessons in no time. There's no denying that the AI industry is growing fast, and I think absorbing as much information as possible is important. So go check out Brilliant.org and be sure to take a look at their AI, neural network and machine learning lessons. To try out what Brilliant has to offer, sign up with 30 days completely free by visiting Brilliant.org forward slash AI chat or click the link in the description below. The first 200 of you to sign up using my link will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now back to the method, what exactly is it? It's a set of prompts that pull detailed information about the user's writing style from content it works with you to create and then applies this style to its writing going forward. The first prompt gets the user to make some content, the second analyzes it and the last prompt puts it all together. With the addition of extracting unique wording and using some anti-AI mechanisms, these prompts make it so easy for ChatGPT to adopt our persona. I made it to help the AI write more like us. ChatGPT can write detailed documents, articles and essays on a seemingly unending number of topics. It still continues to blow my mind, but there's no escaping the way it just feels slightly off. It's still a bit robot-like. This only gets confirmed even more when we use AI detectors and they show just how much of the language and the way it's used isn't natural. If you're a perfectionist then this won't do, and like me you want the AI to write like a person and if possible have that person be you. Well that's what I wanted and until now I've been using the method of giving the AI a block of text and asking it to use this as a guide when it writes new content. But with issues around reaching character limits and the output sometimes quote in my original essay, I just knew there had to be a better way. I started off simple, getting ChatGPT to describe my writing style, but it just wasn't enough. The keywords were too vague and I needed them to be more specific. I also realised there was no guarantee that the people using my prompts would have content of their own. This was kind of when I worked out that I wanted to use multiple prompts. I wanted them to be easy to follow while also breaking them up to not hit character limits. First I had to find a way of getting users that didn't already have content to be analysed to actually make some. I realised that I couldn't just ask them to write about one particular topic, so I decided to get ChatGPT to find an interest of the user and give guidance about what to write. played with the prompt until it was asking the user a detailed question and then based off their response laying out some subtopics to pick from and headings to write about. I didn't want the writing to be a chore and hoped that by laying it out as a template users could put a couple hundred words together with no real effort. Happy with the first prompt, it was time to work on the second, the one that would extract the keywords describing the user's writing. As I noted earlier, this was going to involve more detailed subsets than just style, so I got to work looking into exactly what makes up a person's writing and which elements the AI actually uses. Initially I had the tone, the sentence and paragraph structure and the unique wording and punctuation, but it still wasn't enough and I turned to ChatGPT to explain its inner workings, detailing its use of rhetorical devices, descriptive language and dialogue style. Although I had more than enough, I kept adding to my list. 
even looking at some prompts that were already attempting to get ChatGPT to be more human. By the end, I had five good headings. I'd removed a bunch, like any that were too similar or too specific to one form of writing. I also added an option where the AI would find any unique choice of words, terms that were less common but were still normal words, allowing the AI to even take on the language of the user. I'd also ended up with a list of language mechanisms too, such techniques as using contractions or figures of speech. These weren't really unique to the user, but they generally made the AI a lot more human, so I kept those to one side. With the headings figured out, it was time to start the actual prompt. It was a case of getting the AI not to include any of its normal long-winded replies, to use the headings it was given, and to output easy to copy and paste keywords. The first results were actually pretty good, but I did notice that there were a couple duplicate keywords, and while I liked the words it had pulled from my writing, I wasn't sure that they'd carry over nicely to a new bit of content. So I got to work, stopping the AI producing duplicates and also limiting the AI to choosing unique adverbs rather than adjectives. The next results were a lot more accurate, giving really good descriptive terms that I could tell straight away just match my style. A little bit of tidying up and I had a final version of my first two prompts. It was on to the last and the one that brings it all together, getting the AI to output a piece of content. Again, I wanted this to be an easy copy and paste job. The user will simply take the keywords from the second prompt and paste them under the headings before telling the AI what they want. I carried on playing around until I felt the instructions were clear enough and gave it a test. The content it made first try was actually pretty good and even passed the detector, but I could see a few little changes I already wanted to make. I had an unused list of writing mechanisms and I also felt like the user wasn't being given enough guidance. After more testing, I chose to include the anti-AI section as an optional one, leaving it up to the user to add as a backup if the writing still feels off. Then I tried to make it clear to the user that they should give as much information as possible. Title, length, type of content, headings and talking points. Again, all optional and up to the user, but really, the more detailed instructions about what you want written, the better the results will be. In fact, that actually applies to the whole process. If you give the AI a 2000 word essay, it will be more accurate with its choice of keywords. If you get more keywords given by changing the output number to five, it will be even more precise. You can also give it a high level of detail for the instructions and the essay will of course be closer to what you're hoping for. And with that, all the prompts were done and ready to be tested. Let's now look at the prompts in action from start to finish, one prompt at a time, hopefully making this part of the video an easy to follow guide. Let's first open up ChatGPT and paste in the first prompt, making the AI ask the user to choose a topic they're interested in. It will then take this topic and give a summary followed by potential headings to choose from and some talking points for each, making it as easy as possible to get some content written. It's made clear that we should have at least two paragraphs, but the more detailed content we give, the better it will be. I gave it a topic about AI and chose one of the headings. I put together a quick essay, not really trying too hard. This isn't about making world-class literature, it's about writing in your normal, natural way. By the end, I had a decent block of text for the second prompt to analyse. With this one, all I had to do was paste my essay into the quote marks below the prompt. It then gave me five lists of keywords under the headings writing tone, sentence structure, vocabulary choice, grammar and syntax, and descriptive language. It also picked out a couple of unique words I used. Now at this point, we can simply copy this and move on. However, I do recommend taking some time to review these keywords. Make sure you feel they're accurate. Remove any that aren't relevant, or if you know you wish to sound a certain way, add more in. We want it to write like us and pass the AI detector, but we also want to be happy that it's exactly how we want it. Now it's time to put these keywords into the final prompt and get our content. 
I got rid of the optional AI terms and moved on to copying and pasting all of the keywords under their headings. Then it was the important bit, given the instructions of what to write. I went with a short essay on an AI topic I'd written about earlier, also giving it some headings and talking points. And that was it, it was time to let the AI do its magic. The essay honestly looked great at first glance. It sounded just like something I would write. I liked the way it had shorter sentences while using intelligent sounding but not over the top terms. At this stage, it's up to you to check the work. As with anything ChatGPT does, it has so many options for the output. So don't be afraid to regenerate a response and check for a better result. It's also important to stress that if there's anything missing, like missing talking points, headings not included, tables not being shown, then go back to the instructions of what to write and fix it. You still have to give the AI the best possible prompt you can. But with the essay being acceptable to me, it was time to put it up against a bunch of AI detectors and see if it could pass off as human. Having tested along the way, I was feeling confident and the results were good. The detectors were saying that either the entire essay or the majority of it was written by a human. I tested out a few more topics and it was a complete change from the fails it was making earlier. Now I can be more confident that if I do want ChatGPT to write in my style or in a way that appears human, then I've got a method. I just love knowing that I can get a familiar sounding output for anything. Even if I just have a question, I can have it in my own terms. If you want the prompts in this video or the documents I used, they'll be in the description below. Or as always, they'll be on my Discord where I'm probably online chatting about AI. Don't forget to check out today's sponsor and use my link at brilliant.org forward slash AI chat. If you found this video useful and want to see more prompt engineering, then drop a sub to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.